You've got to tune to KEXP. It's listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle, online, round the world at KEXP.org. And I am so happy to say we finally have live here in the KEXP studios, Cloud Control. Hello. So Hi. wonderful Hello. to have you here. We've Thank been you. waiting for this for a very long time. No pressure now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Want to play a couple of songs and then we'll have a little chat? Yeah, we'd love to. Cool. Let's uh, start with Dojo. Yeah. This song's called Dojo Rising. Incredible. Thanks so much. It's Cloud Control live on KEXP. How about another? Okay, right. let's do it. Uh, this one's called Scar. from letting you 
Control live on KEXP, Dojo Rising and Scar from the upcoming album Dream Cave. And again, such a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, thanks for having us. And our KEXP lucky listeners can see you tonight at Barboza here in Seattle. That's and, correct. And I hear you live in London now, is that mm -hmm. correct? But originally I've read you're from the Blue Mountains near Sydney, Australia, and that sounds so romantic and pastoral. <laughs> well, well, tell me a little bit about where you're from. Uh, basically, it's just a bunch of uh, towns which are built along the ridge top of a mountain range. Although it's more of a hill, really. Interna it's a, it's a range by international of hills, standards, by yeah. it's not like a huge mountain range. No, it's a foothill. It's a yeah. It's is a, it as beautiful as it sounds? It's humble. It is. It, like everyone has beautiful backyards that just stretch into the valleys. So we had little bush kingdoms to explore as kids. It's nice. That sounds wonderful. And is that where you're all from? Is that where the band came together? Yeah, about a radius of 15 minutes drive. We're all such huge fans of the last album, Bliss Release, and it seems that, it, you know, we're from not, we're pretty far from Australia. So it's, for me, it seems as though when the album came out, you just really garnered a large audience pretty quickly and you got lots of fans. Were you sort of toiling in obscurity for a long time and we're just so far away we didn't know that? Or did things kind of come pretty quickly when you started playing? I think it's been pretty slow and steady for us. We've been around for, we've been playing together as a band for about seven years which is, seems so crazy. I mean, when we started, we were, none of us knew how to write songs or sing properly, except yeah. Heidi. But, um, I don't, well, <laughs> you could sing. But um, I, it was right. like, Thanks. yeah, I don't think, yeah, for us, it definitely hasn't been like a, a really sudden thing. It's been over a long time. Well, the last album, Bliss Release, was that title pretty representative of what the album sounded like. And the two songs you just played are the only ones I've heard so far from uh, the new album, Dream Cave. And tell me when that's coming out. And let me know, um, is it that kind of what it's going to sound like? or the? It's quite varied. There's a lot of different I think sounds those two songs probably represent the newer territories that we're exploring in Dream Cave. And Bliss Release is you know, more representative of the rest of the album. But, oh, uh, yeah. Sort of. Kind of. Yeah. I don't know about that. It's a l Okay. Well, you know, the jury's still it's out. It's a divisive the album, <laughs> even between members of the band. <laughs> <laughs> and when, when can we expect to hear the new record? September 17th. All right. Mark your calendars. New Cloud Control coming out September 17th. And very exciting that the North American release is on a Seattle label votive. How did that yeah. come about? Brent just put oh. it on his car and liked it. <laughs> That's what he told me. <laughs> Brent's our label owner. Right. He just uh, just liked it. That's how the music industry works. Did he just you like it? Do it. Reach out to you? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, he got in touch after hearing it, and then and now, now we're, we're here we're in Seattle, we're hometown. Here. We're staying at our, his neighbor's yeah. house at the moment, sleeping on air mattresses. Air mattress it's great. party. It's nice. really fun. Well, we'll we'd love to adopt you. And how's London treating you? Does that feel like home? Yeah. It, it does. I think we all have varying degrees of homeliness feelings about London. I feel like it's home. But then, you know, I think we all we all miss Australia a little bit too. We've been there for two years now. so That's a while. Yeah. Do you make it home very often? It's not like it's a quick, quick visit. No, yeah, it's quite a flight. But we do, I mean, because we still go back to play a lot of shows in Australia, so we still go back there like a few times a year at least. Yeah. Well, we're delighted to have you here in Seattle playing at Barboza tonight. It's Cloud Control live in the KEXP studios, and we'd love to hear some more songs. Cool. Okay. Are we up to meditation uh, song? Promises. Promises. Oh, promises. Okay. Yeah. So this is from the uh, new album as well. Then we'll play an old song. All right.
Live on KEXP. Cool. So this is the uh, first track of her first album. Oh uh, yeah, we're going back in time. Time warp. It's the sound of my time machine. It's, it's a gross time machine. Meditation song. <laughs>
Cloud Control on KEXP. I remember getting that CD Blitz release here at the station and putting it in innocently like, who's this? And hearing that, which you mentioned is the first song, and you had me at hello, as ah. they say. <laughs> so happy to That's hear awesome. you playing that today. Thank you so much. Cloud Control plays at Barboza tonight. Woohoo! See you there. And looking forward to the new album, Dream Cave, coming out in September. Thanks for having us. You've got a tune to KEXP Seattle.